So I was thinking that it's time I get an e-bike. I was thinking of building one, but I'm really busy right now. So I think I'm just gonna see if I can just buy one. Yeah, let's see what's out there, right? Okay, 1500 bucks for that one right there. 1300 bucks for that one right there. Okay, here's one, a thousand dollars, but that looks like it's like a baby one, like not a real one. Eighteen hundred dollars, six thousand for this one. Yeah, I'm second thought. I'm not that busy. I guess I guess we're building an e-bike. All right. So first, what you're gonna need is a bicycle. And if you're as cheap as me, then you're gonna get something like this. This is one of those bikes that you can find. Probably in your garage. Every one almost has an old uh, bicycle in their garage. And it's great because nobody wants it. Uh, you don't feel like riding anymore. And you could probably, like in my area, you could probably get one of these for like 10 bucks to 50 bucks, right? And so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to convert that old junky bicycle into an e-bike that I can get around. Next, what you're going to need is a motor. And this is one of the very popular, the thing, the thing, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but these are everywhere uh, on the internet and you can buy them super cheap. Uh, they come from all those rental e-bikes that used to litter the streets of every city in America. And so now uh, they're for sale for almost nothing, right? So uh, also you're gonna need uh controller right this is a controller and then some kind of like uh, meter thing or display and then a throttle i just bought uh, this kit on amazon i'll link it below uh it comes with a bunch of things that you don't need like the throttles the the brake things so that you can connect uh brake lights all stuff you you can go ahead and connect all that if you want to i'm just gonna do a simple basic uh system and I'm not gonna use any of the stuff. I'm just gonna use these three elements here. Next, batteries. And for those, we have choices. Because we have, this is the cheapest one right here. You can get for like 25 bucks. This one you can get for like uh, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, I think. And then this one's 57. This one will probably give you like seven miles of range. And um, it's kind of wimpy. This one will probably give you like 10 miles, right? And this one, it's probably gonna be like 20, 25 miles of range. And this one's the most expensive. Uh, I'm gonna build with this one in the middle here, um, just because it's the middle of the road, right? 30 bucks, 35 bucks. That'll keep my whole setup here, my whole build. So 40, right, 35 plus, I think you can, I paid 75 for that, but I don't, I think you don't need the 75. It's gonna be somewhere around, a hundred and less than $150 for this build, right? If you don't take any account for the bicycle, right? If you just have it, then lucky you. If not, like I said, you know, probably under $50 you can get an old bicycle like that. So let's build this. Gotta take the wheel out. Okay, you're gonna have to get these nuts. I will link them below because it took me a while to find them. All right, so next we're going to install the throttle here. So you have to take the original thing. Now here's a very important tool you gotta use, zip ties. So next, you connect this cable to the wheel. Oh yeah, this is the little screen. That's gonna go somewhere in here. Okay, that's simple. All right, next comes the battery. So I'm gonna zip tie it there. It's kind of wedged in there and I cut all the other little cables that come out. You don't need any of those. And then I got this little uh, adapter. It's a XT30 to an XT60, and then I solder an XT60 connector here because this one came with a different one. So you're gonna have to do that also, right? Uh, did 
that reach? Yeah, that's enough to reach. Okay, let me zip tie that in there. All right, here we go. The walkthrough, less than 10 minutes to convert this old bike into a modern e-bike. Capable of, I'm estimating here, but I'm saying more than 10 miles or around 10 miles of range, right? Um, so yeah, of course, zip ties, you know, just zip tie everything, just threw a bunch of them in there, the little connector in here. Um, let's see, throttle. I didn't even bother putting the other one, cause why, you know, I didn't even connect the, these are the sensor cables. I tried it and it works without, well, I'll connect them if we need to, but if it works without it, then I, you know, I we'll won't connect. Oh, look at that. Okay. So power assist. Okay, so it's got levels, five. Yeah, let's put it on five. Odometer, RPMs. Voltage, 40.1, so the battery is pretty. Okay, will it go? <laughs> it works. Okay, riding on my electric bicycle. <laughs> oh, look at that, riding my electric bicycle. Okay, so this thing gets going. Let's see how much it sags. 37, ah, it sags a little bit. Okay, let's go, full throttle. Full throttle. There you go. So in less than 10 minutes and for about $150, you can have your own e-bike, right? Uh, what else can we do with these? Can we put two of these batteries in series and overbolt the motors to 72 volts? Pretty sure we can. Can we throw another one of these wheels in the back, get rid of the pedals and then just have like a crazy, scary, dangerous e-bike? <laughs> Hell yes, we could do all that. Uh, but that's going to be for next video. For this one, it's pretty simple. This is a cheap version, budget version of an e-bike. You could do this. You can get a few of these batteries. Uh, or, you, yeah, you can, you can stack in parallel a bunch of these batteries and then have like 100 miles on your e-bike or whatever, right? Um, yeah, the options are kind of limitless on the stuff that you can build here. And you can get all this stuff really cheap that these days and uh and well if you want to get into an e-bike well have fun building one of these thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye